Hi everyone, I'm Reza Nassab from CLNQ and today we're going to be talking about the COVID-19 rapid tests. Uh, the one we're going to perform today is the Roche uh, COVID-19 rapid antigen test. Uh, this gives us a result as to whether there's um, active infection with COVID-19 in a matter of 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, so. What I'm going to do is to talk about how it's actually performed uh, and the steps in the procedure and hopefully we'll show you how quick uh, the results are. Uh, so the first stage in this process is the swab. So we need to take a swab. It's a nasopharyngeal swab. So that involves placing the swab into the nose and then pointing and directing it to the back of the nose to try and get the sample right from the back. And that's the area where we're most likely to find any sort of viral um, RNA, uh, which we will use for detection of active infection. So uh, let's do that first of all. So essentially what we do is to open the pack. We've got the swab, it's quite a thin swab. This bit may feel a little bit uncomfortable when you do it. Um, and it may make you want to sneeze, um, but it's very important that you get a good sample. So you place it into the nose and then direct it back. And <coughs> it's quite ticklish. And you do this for at least 10 seconds. Right, so. <coughs> exactly, there we go. So you do sneeze. So once we've got our swab, the next thing to do is to use the buffer solution. So the pack will contain one of these buffer solutions. And what you do is you take the top off that. You place the swab into the buffer solution and you squeeze the bottle. So that just makes what you've taken, the swab, uh, a little bit moist with the buffer solution. And you squeeze, rotate the swab inside the solution for at least five seconds. Okay, and once you've done that, you need to take the swab out of the buffer solution. And as we remove it, what we do is we lift it up sort of halfway up and then we squeeze the swab again. And when we squeeze that, that squeezes any of the solution from the absorbent swab tip back into the solution pot. Then we remove the swab. Once this is done, you'll get a, a little nozzle to place on top of your buffer solution container. So that then gives us the solution that's ready to test. And then the next step is the actual cassette that we use. So this is the rapid antigen uh, test cassette. And what you do is you take your solution and you three drops, three good drops onto your cassette. And then we just wait. Uh, so the results should be read after about 15 minutes to half an hour. You shouldn't interpret the results before then and you shouldn't interpret the results after half an hour or else they'll be invalid. And what we're looking for is you'll see as the test progresses, the solution tracks along and that's why it's called a lateral flow test because the flow of the solution goes laterally. And you'll get two, there are two lines, there's a C and a T. So the C is the control and the T is the test. Now, if we have two lines, then that means we are positive. If we have just a C, then that means uh, the control is, is okay, the test is working fine. If we just get a T, then that indicates that the result is void or the test is invalid and you may need to do another test. So after about 15 minutes, we'll have an indication of the sort of result that we might get. Uh, and as I said, this is a very quick uh, way of finding out if you have got active COVID infection. Now, if the test does come back positive, then normally we would recommend confirming that with a PCR test, which is a 
far more accurate way of detecting uh, viral RNA. So it's a good test as a sort of screening tool. A lot of people use it in the workplace. Uh, in the NHS, it's being used by healthcare professionals uh, in order to make sure that they're okay before going to work. And they're often tested on a weekly or twice weekly basis. So I've taken my rapid antigen test. Uh, we did the test about 15 minutes ago. And I just wanna show you the results of this. So if we look closely, we can see the C has got a line on it, whereas uh, the T has no line. So this indicates that the test is negative and has worked correctly. Uh, so thankfully, I'm clear. Um, and as I said, I regularly get tested as part of my work. Um, and so this is a very useful tool for this. Uh, so hopefully that's been useful for you. Uh, there'll be a lot more information on our website. Uh, and we'll keep you posted on terms of availability of this test and look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions. Thank you.